Hi and welcome to the Cult TV Sofa. This is a reaction video for the 8th episode of Season 1 of WandaVision. Last time we saw Wanda's powers glitching and she was feeling down and exhausted, likely from the strain that expanding the barrier caused to her. Vision woke up, appearing to be back to his normal self. He found Darcy and restored her mind. They then both took a vehicle to go and find Wanda. Monica and Jimmy visited their engineer friend and planned to enter the barrier in an armoured vehicle. The vehicle failed to get through the barrier with Monica in it, so she decided to go through without any protection. Passing through the barrier seemed to alter Monica further uh, and give her abilities. Whilst looking for the boys at Agnes's, Wanda went into the basement and found some kind of temple or cavern that she that did not look like it belonged in Westview. Agnes then revealed that her real name was Agatha Harkness and that she was actually the one behind all of the events in Westview. She then used her abilities similar to Wanda's to cast some kind of cloud over Wanda's mind. So let's see what happens this episode. I'm going to put any relevant trivia that I find over here and at the end of the reaction I'll be discussing what happened and my thoughts about it. And I'm going to start the episode in 3, 2, 1. Previously on WandaVision. Born to Irina and Oleg Maximoff, both killed during an air raid when Maximoff and her twin brother Pietro were 10. Why are they focusing on Wanda's history? Is that kind of implying that her history is tied into what's happening in Agatha in some way. Where are the twins? Where are the twins? Two episodes to go. Do you have to think how this one's going to end on a cliffhanger for next week? Okay, so I have very, very little knowledge of Agatha Harkness, but the one of the only things I do know is that traditionally in the comics she was one of the original witches in the Salem Witch Trials 16 whatever it was back then um, and that's pretty much all I know about her so at least it's confirming the one fact I knew oh well, they're witches as well. I am a witch. Well, they must be because they. You have betrayed your coven. Okay, so they are all witches, but she's done something to betray them. You practice the darkest of magic. I know. I know nothing of these crimes. I. Okay, so this is quite interesting because. Uh, Wanda and Pietro, well, Wanda in, in particular, she got her powers. From the stone, the mind stone, I think. One of the stones. Um, it's not like she had magic, so she specifically got her powers from a st from one of the power stone, uh, well, one of the stones. Um, now you got Doctor Strange and the, the other people there who do seem to have magic. And they seem to have magic. So Wanda is a bit different. She does seem to have magic, for want of a better word. Um, Carlos, I'll track where I was going with this now, but um, she's different. It's her abilities and uh, origin of her abilities, I'm assuming, are going to be different. Um, it'd be interesting to know how they are magic. Is there uh, something that caused people to have magic in the first place that we might see? to introduce it into the um into the MCU. Please, please. I think it's an act. Oh, mother. God, that's a daughter. Quite cool effects. Oh, she's fighting back. She's more powerful than them. Oh, she draining them. I said it before, but this is film quality effects. I can be 
<laughs> After she just done that. Her mother had a brooch on, which looks like the one she um, Agatha's been wearing in the episode. So I'm guessing she's going to walk up and take it now. Yep. <laughs> oh. Wanda's fighting back. My thoughts are not available to you, Tuts. They never ever were. Where are they? Your magic's no good here. Okay, so she said her magic's no good here, so it's not, I don't think it's uh, completely, I don't think, I'm not sure it's Agatha's stopping her, that she's more powerful than her, is it in just in that location her powers don't work, although she did try to read her mind a second ago and her eyes were glowing, which implies she has some powers working, even though she couldn't read her mind, she was still um, uh, using her powers. Um... So, uh, but it must be that, I'm assuming it's that room, for some reason it's dampening her powers, but not Agatha's. She needs to get out of the room. These are runes, Wanda. In a given space, only the witch that casts the runes can use her magic. <laughs> convenient. Necromancy was a non-starter since your real brother's body is on another continent. Not to mention full of holes. But it implies she can do it. She can bring back the dead and ha inhabit the dead. You're even running illusions miles away at the edge of town. What's your secret, sister? So it is still Wanda doing a lot of it, which is kind of, I think, what I was, I thought. But Agatha, Agnes, um, or Agnes, Agatha, whichever way we look at it. Um, Sort of sensed it that Wanda was doing things there that were very powerful. It drew her there to Westview, and since she's been there, she's found this place, and it's she's she's been around for a long time. She's had magic and been able to do a few things, but now her her Agatha's powers have uh, enhanced as well in that location. After you. So this is sort of flashbacks into her life. Charming. Let's go with Sokovia. Well, she's smiling. She's obviously got good memories. <laughs> so those DVDs that we just saw then were all the um, episodes that we've seen so far. So we had a Bewitched episode. Uh, it was I Love Lucy, uh, and it was Malcolm in the Middle, so I'm assuming she has memories of, nice memories of the past with her parents. Maybe watch a movie night, TV night, um, maybe that's a special time for her. And that's what drove her to create those episode-like stages in her in the, in the episodes we've seen so far. I can hear gunfire. This is your pick, yes? Dick Van Dyke. I think I had a trivia card early on um, <clears throat> that Dick Van Dyke himself was actually involved uh, in the certainly the first few episodes. He was there as a consultant to make sure that they got the look and feel of those classic episode uh, styles as to, to match. Well, the Dick Van Dyke show, basically. They wanted to recreate that whole environment properly. So they literally brought the man himself aboard uh, to do it. <clears throat> so, yeah. So, <laughs> that particular bit where he falls over the stool, um, Vision... Uh, almost fell over the stool exactly like that uh, but he phased through it instead so there's so many throwbacks and I think say the house itself I think was um, Wanda's house was uh, designed to look like the Dick Van Dyke house I think hmm. 
So this is kind of how they learnt English and the American way and... Well, I had fun. <sighs> so that was basically her last good memory. I have a terrible feeling her parents died in an explosion. I'm about to find out. So she had an amazingly happy memory with her parents and her brother watching the Dick Van Dyke show when the explosion happened and that's that traumatised her at a young age. That's why when... Uh, okay. <clears throat> so that's when, when Vision died and then she came back after the snap. She said she was feeling that emptiness and everything. So maybe that was re-triggered um, her memories of the past and that's why she recreated everything in this perfect world of her memories of when she was a child and she had happy memories with her parents. That's that's why it took that Dick Van Dyke form and, and the other episodes as well. Sad. Because at this time, her and Pietro have no powers. Oh. Stark weapons. Oh god. That's even worse than what I just said. So yes, she had that perfect moment of happiness with her parents and her brother watching the Dick Van Dyke show. And now she's got the complete flip side of having to watch it in um, amongst all that. The, the fear and the terror and everything. Oh, I, yeah, I don't know what that would do to you. Um, what watching so Rewatching that in the future, what kind of effect would that have on you? You're torn between a happy memory in the well a, a very happy memory in the worst memory you could have no wonder that's a trigger for her oh so i was wondering whether she, wanda did have powers back then but never nothing they never knew and then the stones enhanced things but it looks like Okay, so it looks like Wanda didn't have powers and all this happened, but Agatha, th Agatha thinks she did. So she was saying, oh, did you use a hex to stop the bomb? Or did you know what magic powers did you use? She doesn't know anything about Wanda's history. So I'm assuming we're going to kind of move forward and forward until we get to when she was experimented on uh, with the stone. Um... So that's going to be interesting, but yeah, so she doesn't know anything about her really, which is surprising. I thought Google would have uh, given us some info. So what I see here is a baby witch obsessed with sitcom. She wasn't a witch then, or was she? The only way forward is back. So this is where she was experimented on. Volunteer. Begin experimentation. Doctor, with respect, not one subject has survived huh. that I can't So she, maybe she was magic to start with, just, and that's what gave, allowed her to have her abilities enhanced rather than die. <laughs> Don't explain how her brother got, her powers, got his powers though. Play it again. Again. Yeah, what happened in between? So it's like the video re-editing, like uh, it's happening in the series. Wanda got up close and personal with an infinity stone that amplified what otherwise would have died on the vine. Okay. So she was always a, a witch. But again, don't explain her brother's powers. Pietro was dead and... I was in a new country, mm. I was all alone. I was wondering if we'd actually see the real Pietro, but obviously not. So she's watching this to remember times with her brother, because he's just died. I've always been alone, so I don't feel the lack. It's all I've ever known. He hasn't been alive that long, in, at this period. 
That's very uncomfortable to wear that uh, vision uh, makeup. Sorry, pardon. <laughs> That was, that was the right time to laugh as well, to break the tension. So that was the beginning of her feelings for Vision, and vice versa. What happened when he wasn't there to pull you back from the darkness, Wanda? Okay, so when her brother died, she was getting depressed and going downhill, basically. Um, but Vision brought her back back he he was there for her and kept her level um but now vision died she kept going down so that's kind of what's brought all this about her her history and the the trauma she's gone through over the years that's a hell of a backstory back. so this is where she went into the uh, sword headquarters to retrieve vision after she returned from the snap. He deserves a funeral, at least. Yeah. I deserve it. So she wanted closure. Please, just come with me. I think that kind of shows how... It, oh. God, that kind of shows how important Vision is to the director. If his office overlooks the experimentation that they've been doing to him, um, he is absolutely number one priority for the director. So that's why, obviously, they've been tracking him and everything, and everything they've been doing is to try and get Vision back. Oh. That's going to send her over the edge. Not everyone has the kind of power that could bring their soulmate back online. No, I can't do that. That's a, why did he say that she could bring him back? She's not shown that much power before. That's kind of like he knows that she can do it, but she doesn't. So is the director not the director? Is he someone else in disguise? I know there have been rumours online. Um, but that's a weird line to, to say. Um, that does imply he knows more than Wanda about Wanda. I can't feel you. So that implies he was dead. It's not like he's just offline. Oh, she left without taking him. So why does she go to Westview? This is the house which looks like it's been renovated or something, which is all run down. So all the other houses around it look nice. Oh, not even a house, just a plot. So Vision bought her, well, bought them a plot of land to build a house for them to live in when so they could grow old together. And she then makes the perfect home. And then she recreated it based on her memories of the Dick Van Dyke show. So she didn't take Vision at all. But what is he? So she did recreate everything and she created the barrier to keep everything, to, to live in that perfect world. But what is Vision? Is he just a... Uh, an illusion as such with abilities but an, an illusion of him you're supposed to be a myth a being capable of spontaneous creation so she did actually create vision this is chaos magic Wanda and that makes you the scarlet witch <laughs> okay so they're actually 
using her comic name Scarlet Witch as a a descriptive term for what she is. Sir, the team is ready for launch. What are they launching? We took this thing apart and put it back together again a million times. When all we needed was a little energy directly from the source. It's vision. It's going to be vision. The real vision. Ha! Huh. Wow, that's cool. Um. Okay. <laughs> so, they s the director said that Wanda took Vision's body. She didn't. She literally recreated him in the the dome in Westview. She made him. Does that include the stone then? Um, in which case, yeah, she's extremely powerful. Um, if she could recreate the stone as well, but when he left the barrier, he was he was being ripped back into the barrier. That's how I read it. So, um. He only exists within that area. I'm still confused over the vision that we've been seeing, what he actually is. Um, I'm assuming that the barrier, we've only got one more episode to go, the barrier's going to drop next episode and that vision will go. Um, he can't exist outside. So they still had vision, but they couldn't power him because they didn't have the stone. But they they put something in its place. Don't know what it was, some kind of stone, but they couldn't power the vision. But that they had the drone that had passed through the barrier previously that Wanda brought back out through the barrier, and it still had kind of her, um, a red glow around it like it was infused with her power in some way um, or an effect of her power and they used that drone to power up vision um, so that's quite cool so I'm assuming they're gonna send him in but uh, I'm confused over what there's too many visions. <laughs> what the vision that we know from the films was is he basically just a robot without the mind stone? Was it the stone that gave him his personality and made him who he was? So without that stone, is he just a computer program that they can reprogram to do what they want him to do? That's kind of how I'm reading it because they're using him, I'm assuming, to go in and stop Wanda. Um, he's got past the barrier as well, so don't know how that's going to happen. Yeah. Oh, next episode's going to be a good one. <laughs> I'm still a bit confused. Well, I'm a lot confused. Still a lot of stuff I'm not sure about. That isn't quite clicking with me. Um, but but for the looks of it, the basic story is that Wanda's had a lot of trauma in her life. She's always, after every trauma, someone or something's always happened to bring her back. She always was a witch, but never really probably showed her powers. Um... But the stone um, that Hydra used, the Infinity Stone, unleashed her abilities as we knew her in the films. Um, and then when she lost vision, there was nowhere, no one there to pick her up. And all that grief came out in Westview, which kicked it all off. When that happened, Agatha sensed it and she came to see what had caused those that boost of abilities or uh, where 
Wanda's powers had come from, because I'm assuming because she wants them herself. Yeah. So she says that she's a chaos. Uh, she has chaos powers. Um, she was able to create something from nothing, i.e. vision. And cups of tea and things and breakfast. Um, right. And then she said she's a Scarlet Witch, which is obviously what she was called in the comics. I don't think she's ever been referred to it in the actual films themselves that way. Um, it's quite... Again, it's the way they use the comics without using them as such. So her costume that she had in the comics they couldn't use that in the films it just wasn't appropriate these days but they used it as a halloween costume that's clever she was called the scarlet witch in the comics so describing her as a scarlet witch uh, it's a good way of using that term it's uh, so yeah I, I like that that's clever yeah there's a billion thoughts going through my head at the moment and i can't <laughs> make it all cohesive um, doesn't quite explain what. So, oh, so the boys, I'm assuming they're part of the created from nothing, but they can't be her and Vision's sons as such because Vision doesn't exist in the um, in the dome. Um, well, he does exist, but he's not Vision. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Did she just create them as a what she thinks they would be like if her and Vision had children? Not sure. Okay. So at the moment, the Vision from the Dome is on his way to her. He's flying towards her. We've got Monica there with abilities as well to help. And we have this, the, the vision that we knew from the films who's no longer vision. Um, I need to come up with a better way of describing these two visions. <laughs> I'll have a think for the next episode. Um, he's assuming about to enter and there's going to be like a final battle or something between that vision and the three of them. Oh, well, sorry, that vision and possibly Agatha? Don't know. It's going to be a hell of an episode next one. Let me know what you thought about this one in the uh, comments below and I will definitely see you for the next episode next week. <laughs> be seeing you.